Northern Ireland's number one with the biggest victory of his career so far. That double top wrapping things up and putting out a former world finalist, Kevin Painter. Brendan Dolan up against Wes Newton in round two of the competition. This is what's been happening so far. Alan Tabern doing a job on Richie Burnett, 95 Lakeside champion, 3-2. Deanna Tut, 4-3 winner over Scott McKenzie, had darts to win the match. Brendan Dolan, a 3-0 victory over Kevin Painter, who will be gutted behind the scenes. Up next, James Wade against Spain's number one, Antonio Alcinas. And Dennis Ovens will play Artut in the final match of the evening. Let's have a look at this section of the draw. Wes Newton, who beat Darren Young yesterday, 3-0. We'll play Brendan Dolan also in that section. Wade Alcinas, winner of that, against Van Gerwen or Sulevich. And Brendan Dolan is here. Congratulations, Brendan. That, Thanks, that is the, the biggest win of your career, isn't oh, it, by, by a long way? Definitely on TV, yes. It's by far my biggest now and probably my best performance on TV to date, I know. Tell us about how you did it, because you, you, your, your checkouts were, were good, your average was high. It was an all-round solid performance. Well, I got off to, well, both me and Kevin had a couple of 40, 50s in the first six starts, but the one area that you know, really settled me in, and as much as it settled me, it probably upset Kevin, and I had another one on the next leg, and probably, you know, it gave me more confidence, and uh, I felt good, and I stayed away from the fives. <laughs> I normally stay into the fives. <laughs> <laughs> when you went a couple of sets up, he came back, got a one five six. It was looked just perfect, as if he was going to rally and fire back into it. Did you did you yeah. worry at that stage? No, uh, it was only one leg, and I kept telling myself it's only one leg. Uh, just stick to the game plan. You're still technically it was a leg you were supposed to lose anyway. Just go, you know, with the darts. So just go and hold your own darts, and uh, you'll be okay. And. Uh, uh, I just talked myself through it, really. <laughs> what about nerves when you're going up there? Because you, you, before we heard from you, and you're saying, you know, the, the massive stage, 120 foot stage, yeah. a thousand people. It's got to get the, the adrenaline going, hasn't it? The stage is absolutely awesome. You know, uh, you know, the size of it can take your breath away. But uh, you know, you only have to use so much of the stage, and uh, that's your area. So, you know, you can narrow it down in your in your head and. Uh, try and uh, not let the crowd or anything get to you, but, uh, try and you know, blank it out as best you can. You can't blank it totally out, uh, especially when they're encouraging you. And like, and I had good support out there as well as Kevin. It was kind of 50-50, which was a bit of a surprise for and, me. Like, so. And you're still doing your day job as well. You're a patron <laughs> decorator. You do that a couple of days a week, three days a week? Well, it's uh, with me going so often to darts, it's uh, away on a Friday to darts, home on a Monday. Work Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and away again on Friday. It's monotonous, but uh, it's, you know, I love darts, so it's enjoyable that way. Hey, Brandon, congratulations. We'll see you against Wes Newton Thank after you, Christmas. Uh, coming up next, James Wade against the Spanish darting sensation.